Magandang hapon, Malacanang Press Corps. Kasama natin ngayon si OPSOIC Attorney Chaloy Velicaria Garafil. Ma'am? Magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Katatapos lang po ng ating 12 cabinet meeting. At ngayon, uh, makakausap natin, kasama natin ngayon, ang DOT Secretary, si Secretary Christina Frasco to make some announcement as a result of the cabinet meeting kahan, kanina. Secretary? Good afternoon, mayong hapon, kaninyong tanan. Uh, I'm Christina Garcia Frasco, the Secretary of the Department of Tourism. We have just concluded a cabinet meeting with President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. together with our fellow cabinet secretaries. And uh, at this meeting, the matter of the mask mandate policy of the Philippines was discussed. As you are aware, the President has already issued an executive order to make outdoor mask wearing voluntary all over the Philippines with certain exceptions. As a result of the cabinet meeting this morning, uh, it was agreed and uh, that the President would be issuing an executive order per the IATF recommendation to make indoor mask wearing also voluntary all over the Philippines with a few exceptions. Namely, that uh, mask wearing would still be required in public transportation as well as medical transportation and in medical facilities. Mask wearing would also be highly encouraged for unvaccinated individuals, the uh, persons with comorbidities, as well as senior citizens. But generally, the direction of the Marcos administration is to lift the remainder of uh, travel restrictions into the Philippines, and that includes easing of our mask mandates to allow our country to be at par with our ASEAN neighbors who have long liberalized their mask mandates. In addition to this, uh, it was also discussed that uh, the remainder of stringent protocols, such as the requirement of pre-departure testing into the Philippines uh, in the form of an RT-PCR would also be removed. In addition to this, as far as uh, unvaccinated foreigners are concerned, they would uh, henceforth be allowed entry into the Philippines with only the requirement of presenting a, an antigen test 24 hours uh, taken before departure or an option of taking an antigen test upon arrival into the Philippines. Uh, in addition to this, uh, it was also agreed that uh, the One Health Pass would be removed as already publicly announced and replaced with an e-arrival platform that uh, introduces great convenience to our travelers and tourists in a sense that the interface is now more user-friendly 20 questions that used to be in place have now been reduced to 10, uh, specifically those that are tourism related. And as agreed during the meeting, it was clarified that the filling out of the e-arrival card would not be made mandatory as a prerequisite to boarding. In other words, you can fill out the e-arrival card at your own convenience prior to departure or upon arrival. Uh, it was also agreed together with the Department of Health uh, and in their discussions with the BOQ that special lanes would be provided in the airport for those that have not had the opportunity to fill out the e-arrival card. 
the overarching direction of the Marcos administration is to allow our country to convey an openness and a readiness to the world to receive tourists and investments so that uh, we would give our fellow Filipinos an opportunity to regain all the livelihood and uh, losses that were incurred during the pandemic. So we are optimistic that with all of these uh, restrictions being lifted by the Marcos administration, that this can only redound to the benefit of the lives of millions of Filipinos that serve to benefit as well from the reinvigoration of the tourism industry. Add questions for Secretary Frasco. Marisad Halili, TV5. Hi, sir. Magandang hapon po. Ma'am, clarification. I understand kung ano yung purpose for, for the EO. Uh, nagawing voluntary na lang yung wearing of indoor face mask. Pero uh, ano po yung napag-usapan sa cabinet meeting tungkol doon sa XBB and XBC cases? Because I understand it is still a cause of concern considering yung pagiging immune evasive daw ng mga virus na ito. To be very clear, the matters of mask wearing as well as the new variants was extensively discussed during the IATF meeting that uh, is, uh, was conducted rather last week together with our fellow cabinet secretaries. And uh, the DOH had presented uh, its discussion on the new variant. Uh, but the overall uh, direction of the IATF and as uh, discussed earlier during the cabinet meeting is that uh, first this is not the very first variant of the pandemic. We have had several other variants in the past uh, and that is the reason why the DOH has been very aggressive in its vaccination campaign and uh, booster campaign which are all still ongoing. Uh, in the end we simply cannot go on in a pandemic perspective because we have to give our country an opportunity to thrive uh, while maintaining basic health protocols on one hand and safeguarding and protecting livelihood and the economy on the other. And this is the reason why the new variant is being managed by the DOH while the government is uh, considering ways with which our economy can recover. It is not a mutually exclusive uh, exercise wherein by implementing the easing of these travel restrictions, efforts towards managing the pandemic would cease because it continues to be managed by the DOH. There are uh, two pieces of good news that I wanted to share also. Um, first, because of our president's uh, position of prioritizing travel and tourism as a priority agenda of his administration, and this sense of optimism and hope that which has reverberated across the Philippines, there is great interest in the Philippines. This is actually re well reflected in our tourist arrivals, which have now breached 1,827,603 arrivals as of today. Notably, this uh, exceeds the previous projections of the Department of Tourism prior to June 30, which pegged international arrivals only at 1.7 million by December of uh, 2022. In addition to this, the Optimism and a positive outlook for the Philippines is also very well reflected in the recently concluded Philippine Travel Exchange, which is uh, the biggest government-led travel exchange organized by the Tourism Promotions Board, which is the marketing arm of the DOT. The numbers are record-breaking in that 
there are sales and leads of upwards to 173 million pesos. This far exceeds previous sales in that the highest sales achieved was in 2018 at 94.8 million and in 2019 sales were pegged at 46 million. What does this tell, tell us? This tells us that the Philippines remains a top of mind destination all over the world, only that we need to continuously improve enabling mechanisms of coming into the Philippines. And this is exactly the direction that the Marcos administration has taken in easing travel protocols as well as the other programs and plans of the Department of Tourism under this administration. Ma'am, follow up. Last question. How about, Ma'am, the timing, considering na maguundas and it will be a ver months na? So, of course, expected natin na mas magiging matindi yung, yung pag-mobilize ng mga tao. Isn't this a cause of concern? What we have to understand is that the shift in the mandatory nature of mask wearing to the voluntary nature of mask wearing leaves the choice to the individual to whom we entrust to make an informed choice about mask wearing. Uh, we have seen from the issuance of the executive order of the president on the outdoor mask wearing that notwithstanding the fact that outdoor mask wearing is now voluntary, people still elect to wear masks. At least some of them do outdoors because now it's their informed choice. And we foresee the same for uh, indoor mask wearing as well. By no means are you required not to wear a mask, only that you're given an option not to wear a mask this time around. Notably as well, uh, from the issuance of the executive order by the president, we have seen that uh, since September, there has been a decrease in uh, COVID-19 cases by 2.8%. And uh, up to 22 October 2022, there has been a decrease of 22.74% uh, in positive cases. And therefore, this supports the empirical data that we had previously presented vis-a-vis -vis our ASEAN neighbors, wherein the lifting of the mask mandate in no way led to any surges uh, in majority of these countries. And this is also what we have seen here in the Philippines at what, and what we anticipate uh, with the uh, indoor mask wearing being made voluntary. Thank you very much. Uh, Tourism Secretary Christina Frasco. Uh, maraming salamat, Malacanang Prescor.